Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, let me tell you how today's video <laughs> came about. So my beauty room is kind of currently a disaster. So before I was filming, I was like, you know what? I've got to clean this up a little bit. So I started cleaning up and I found so many products that I've recently used in videos. And I felt like, wait, these are too good to not use again. So like, you guys know how much I love reusing makeup on my channel. I mean, that's realistic, right? We don't buy a product to just use it once, which is one of the reasons why I started my Full face of nothing new series but in this case it's not all older products a lot of it is new to me some of it i just talked about in my favorites video some things i've only used a couple of times but i want to use again so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm going to be creating a really nice everyday easy wearable look using the products that i just feel like are too good to put away i can't put them away in my drawers yet i need to use them again <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and pin my hair back so that it's nice and out of the way. Okay, we're ready to start. So my first product is actually something that I have never used on my channel before because it is brand new. This video is actually sponsored by Supergoop, which you guys know. I'm a sunscreen freak. Supergoop is one of my favorite brands for all things sunscreen. I feel like they have so many products, so many different types of sunscreen. So really whatever you're looking for, Supergoop has. You guys already know how much I love them and I've actually been testing this product out for the past two weeks so that I could really get a feel for it. And if I liked it, I could share it with you guys, which I obviously really, really do. So I'm really excited to share their newest product. This is called the Mineral Sheer Screen. It has an SPF of 30. This is a 100% mineral sunscreen, which I've told you guys this so many times on my channel, but I'm going to tell you again in case you aren't aware of my personal sunscreen preferences. Because I have acne prone sensitive skin, I tend to gravitate toward all mineral sunscreen formulas. And Supergoop has so many different mineral options, which is why I love them but this is their latest launch and I'm really excited to share it with you guys on camera now so I'm just going to apply it so you can see what I'm talking about so I'm going to use about this much I'm going to warm it up in my fingertips first if you guys are familiar with mineral sunscreens you'll know that a lot of them contain zinc oxide which I personally love the thing about zinc is it tends to give a white cast I feel like the zinc is kind of visible when you first apply this once you start to blend it out this is true Truly the sheerest zinc based sunscreen that I've personally ever tried. I feel like it's really hard to find a fully zinc sunscreen that shears out the way this does. You'll see now how once it shears out, it starts to dry down. I really have been loving this too because it kind of leaves a little bit of a tacky finish which makes it perfect for underneath makeup. That's something I also love about Supergoop. I feel like they don't disregard the makeup lovers in the world and so they formulate a lot of products that work great underneath your makeup base which makes it so easy to use sunscreen every single day. So here's what it looks like now that it's all blended out. I love the finish. It gives a nice glow. Again, it has a tacky finish. This will also protect against blue light, which is great. So if you are on your screen, on your laptop, working from home, like so many of us are, it will also protect the skin from that. I always apply my sunscreen as the last step in my skincare routine and right before makeup. And I love how the sheer screen really helps kind of do both. It preps my skin for makeup, but it's also my sunscreen step, which is the last step of my skincare routine. So I'm really happy to be sharing this with you guys. It's brand new to Supergoop, so if you're interested in checking it out, I will have it linked in the description box down below. I seriously get giddy like every time I'm surfing on the Supergoop website because they have so many different sunscreen options. No matter what you're looking for, no matter what skin type you have, you'll be able to find something. So if you're really, really picky like me and you need a mineral sunscreen for your acne prone skin, or if you want a clean chemical sunscreen, they've got everything. So I will have it linked down below. Now that my skin is perfectly prepped for makeup, we're going to go into foundation. Foundation. I'm gonna do complexion first today and I really wanted to reuse my rare beauty foundation This is the shade 130 N. I always like to give it a good shake before I use it I've been really really enjoying this recently. You guys already know I love this and I have been finding that less is more with this So I just kind of do some dots all over the face I used to like really really swipe quite a bit of product on but I find that this really blends out beautifully I'm gonna go in with the rare beauty foundation brush as well, which I have been equally obsessed with. And I'm just going to start blending that on top of my sunscreen that I applied, making sure to really blend it down the neck as well. Next, I'm going in with my EcoTools Biodegradable Sponge, which is another product that I just can't put down. I really, really love this. And I'm just going to make sure that the foundation is nice and pressed into the skin. I'm already loving how my complexion feels. It's very, very 
hydrated and lightweight feeling, which is what I'm going for because I wanted to do like an everyday look. I asked you guys in a recent video where I posted my no makeup makeup routine. I'll have that video linked down below if you missed it, but there were quite a few comments that wanted to see an everyday routine. So this is going to be that kind of a routine if you're somebody who was asking. So let's go into concealer now. I have to use this again. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have to use this again after filming my dupe video. If you guys didn't see that video, I'm still shocked about it. I cannot believe the results. And this was one of the concealers that I used. So naturally I'm going to use it again because I loved how bright my under eyes looked with this. So I'm gonna dot that under the eyes and I'm gonna go with my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, which is another product that I am obsessed with. I love this brush so much. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend this out all over the under eye area to brighten. After I've blended that out, I'm gonna press that down with my EcoTool sponge. I'm gonna take what's left on the sponge and just apply this to the eyelid to cancel out any discoloration there. And then I'm gonna take a slightly darker shade. This is light beige. I'm gonna use this to cover up blemishes. I do have a few today on my chin. I feel like that's from wearing masks. Maskne is so real. So I'm just gonna try to conceal those a little bit. All right, we're gonna set the under eyes now. And I had to use this again as well because this was the under eye combo that I used in my dupe video that I loved so much. Sorry, the top was so dirty on that. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. Um, I have mine in the shade Light. And let me tell you, I really love this combination for underneath the eyes. This powder adds a little more coverage and it smooths and brightens. I'm really, really into it. So I'm just gonna apply this under the eyes and I am going to apply this too, like right here on the T-zone. We'll put a little on the nose as well, just to add that bit more coverage and to mattify slightly, especially since I have some blemishes right here in the center of my face. I think that'll really help smooth that over. But I wanna use another powder that I really, really love as well. This is from Kosas, it's the Cloud Set Powder. Love the packaging, love the formula of this. Um, this is the shade Airy. So I'm gonna take this on a larger brush. This has a little bit of coverage, um, not nearly as much as the number seven powder. And it's definitely a little more on the dewy side once you wear it throughout the day, which I personally really like. Um, but I'm gonna kind of keep this toward the outer portion of the face. Again, since I do have a little bit more breakouts happening in the center of the face today, I just wanna keep most of the glow on the outer portions. All right, to make sure we don't have any powdery finish, I love to go back over everything really, really gently with my sponge, just to pick up the excess powder. Okay, for bronzer, this is actually one that I've had in my collection for so long, but all of a sudden I'm like really into it again. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer, and I have mine in the shade 100. So I'm just gonna use this really quickly to kind of warm up the complexion. I don't know what it is about this. I just really like the tone and undertone. I feel like it warms up my complexion without uh, being too warm, but it's also not too cool tone to where it's like a contour product. It's just right in my opinion. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of warm up the forehead, the cheeks. And I do like to take what's left and kind of just dab it across the nose. I find that that makes everyday makeup looks look a little more natural as if the sun has actually hit your skin that you got a little sun-kissed. All right, let's go into highlighter next. This is another product from the dupe video, you guys. I loved that video. You guys seem to love it as well. Um, and I know so many of you guys ended up going out and picking up some of the dupe products. So I figured I would use them again because hopefully we are all enjoying them. I'm gonna use this um, highlighter. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. It's so funny because I have loved this highlighter for a long time and I've talked about it on my channel several times, but I did not realize that it was a dupe for one of my favorite highlighters. I won't give it away if you haven't seen the video, but if you know, you know. So I'm just going to apply this to the high points of the face, down the center of the nose a bit and on the cupid's bow. And I always like to go over my highlight with my sponge as well. I'm gonna do blush later. So now I'm gonna move on to brows, which this is no surprise. I'm just gonna use my Benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade four. I'm not gonna bore you with this, so I'm just gonna quickly do this off camera. Okay, brows are on. I really, really wanted to reuse this little eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette, and I have been really enjoying this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this light pink color first. Actually, first I'm gonna kind of tap out any product that's on the eyelids and set that with what's left on my powder brush. That way we don't lock in the creases. All right, now I'm taking that and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in the crease of my eye as my transition. And I wanted to try a newer look with this. I don't think I've ever done what I have in mind for this palette. Um, I wanna do 
a little bit of like a drawn out kind of a shape on this. So I'm gonna really buff it up and out toward the end of the brow. Okay, I'm gonna try something. It seems to be working. I'm taking a little bit of my number seven powder and I'm gonna try to create a little bit of a soft, I don't really wanna call it a cut crease, but I guess it's kind of a cut crease. I just wanna kind of lighten up the eyelid to really create that shape that I'm thinking of in my mind. But it's all gonna be pretty subtle and soft. So that's why I felt like this powder would work as opposed to a light eyeshadow. So I really want it to be a soft difference between the eyeshadow and then this powder on the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna take the sparkly pink shade, which I love this shade probably the most in this palette. I'm just gonna use this with my finger and I'm going to apply that right on top of the powder I just applied, building this up all the way across the eyelid. If you're following along and you don't want like any shimmer on the eyelids for this everyday look, you can skip this step, but I personally love a little shimmer for every day. So I'm just gonna keep applying this. Okay, next I'm actually gonna take an eyeliner, which I know I don't normally use, but for this look that I have in mind, I really wanted to. So this is the Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Hoda, and it is like a really pretty dark gray. So I'm gonna start this in the center of my eyelid on the top and just start working this into the lash line really close to the lashes at first. And then I'm gonna look forward and kind of start to create a little bit of a wing. I'm gonna connect it slightly, but I'm not gonna connect it too much because I'm gonna flip the pencil over and start just smudging this out to really just soften everything. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. You could definitely skip this step as well if you are in a hurry and just apply mascara. I'm using the smudger end of the liner to just smudge this out. So that's the base. I'm gonna take an angled brush now. Actually, I'm just gonna use this little flat brush and I'm gonna go into the center shade in this Natasha Denona palette. I thought that this could be really, really pretty used as an eyeliner, but I wanted to make sure that there was something else kind of creating the definition so it wasn't just this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna start like stamping this right on top of the shape we created I am gonna kind of fuzz out the edges a little bit. I don't think I've ever used the word fuzz in a tutorial before, but you know what I mean, like kind of blur out the edges with the powder. I'm also going to take the powder only and kind of smudge it between those inner lashes that didn't have the pencil liner on it, just so that inner corner is defined, but softer than the rest of the eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of what's left on the brush and create a slight definition on that outer third of the lower lash line just to gently tie it all together. Going back in with the brush that we used with the number seven powder and just kind of dusting underneath the eye so that everything looks nice and bright and clean. All right, for mascara, I wanted to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I actually only wore this a couple of times, but I really enjoyed it both times, so I wanted to wear it again. This is one of those products that I found while I was cleaning and I was like, I gotta wear this again. So I'm just going to apply this on the top and bottom lashes. And to keep that kind of elongated cat eye shape, I'm focusing most of the mascara on this outer corner. Same thing on the lower lash line, focusing most of it on the outer corner. Oh man, I smudged some underneath the lower lash line. I'll just wait for that to dry and then I'll buff it away. All right, while that mascara mark dries, we are now going to move to blush. So of course, I'm gonna be using my Stila Convertible Color Blush in the shade Lilium. I have not put this down. I'm sorry if you're already sick of seeing this, but I love it. I'm just gonna use my sponge. I'm just gonna take the other side of the sponge for this and then go on the back of my hand to make sure it's evenly distributed into the sponge. And then I'm gonna smile and just apply this to the apples of the cheeks. I feel like applying cream blush over powder highlight really creates a beautiful melted highlighter look. I'm just gonna continue building this up. I'm gonna flip my sponge over to the side where we used concealer and foundation and use that to blend out the edges. Okay, we'll kind of assess the situation and balance things out a little more in just a minute. I wanted to reuse this lip liner from ColourPop. It's their lippy pencil in the shade O oh Snap. I love this shade. It's a perfect everyday color for me. So I'm just gonna line and fill in the lips with this. And then of course, I had to reuse this right here. This is from Rare Beauty and it is their matte lip cream in the shade Courage, another amazing everyday color. It's a very nice moussey whip texture, but I'm obsessed with this kind of mauve shade. And I feel like it matches that lip liner perfectly. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. And I'm gonna use my finger to blur the edges a bit on that. 
and also to make sure it's blended with the lip liner. All right, this next step is definitely not necessarily an everyday type of thing for me personally, but I had to reuse them again. I've used these so many times. It's the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. I'm just going to be applying those with my Duo Clear Lash Glue. While I wait for the lash glue to get a little bit tacky, I'm just going to define the lip lines on this top lip a little more with that same lip pencil. I'm also gonna dust away that mascara mark. This time I'm gonna start with my individual lashes in the center of my eye. I normally start from outer corner to the inner portion, but I wanna make sure that the centers of the lashes are in the same spot on both eyes. So I'm gonna place my first little short lash right here. I'm focusing it basically on that outer half of the eye to really help elongate and enhance the wing that we've already applied. Okay, so I've just applied two shorts from the center and then right next to it. And now I'm gonna finish the look with the medium length, which is a bit longer to elongate that outer corner. Okay, so the lashes are on, they're still drying. I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish up the eye look with a little bit of the Revlon highlighter. I'm just gonna be placing a little bit of that in the inner corner and I'm gonna drag it on the lower lash line a bit too. And then I'm going to apply some on the brow bone, just right under the highest point of the brow. Okay, I really like that simple yet elegant eye look with the lashes especially. I think it really pulls it all together. We're gonna go ahead and assess the situation. I do want to add a little bit more of the number seven powder under the eyes, and I'm gonna bring it here on the front of the cheeks too to kind of soften the cream blush that's over my pores because I do have pretty large pores right here, so I just wanna soften the cream by powdering it and it will soften the color at the same time. I'm gonna add a bit more to the chin. I'm gonna take a little bit more bronzer, of course. <laughs> That's not shocking either. We're gonna add it to the forehead as always. I don't know why I always need more bronzer on my forehead once my makeup's done, but maybe it's like the lipstick, I don't know. Anytime my makeup look is complete, I feel like I need more dimension and warmth on my forehead. Okay, really happy with how the blush looks too. I'm wanting to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm obsessed with this all over again too. I'm just gonna spritz everything. Focusing on the outer portions of the face. I love how that spray smells. Anybody else? Setting sprays that have like good scents just really do something for me. I'm gonna go ahead and press that into the skin with my EcoTool sponge again. And then of course, I personally cannot live without this. This is no surprise either. I'm just setting the brows with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter, my number one ride or die brow gel. All right, now I'm just gonna take my hair down. All right, so that completes this look. I love how it turned out. I feel like I said that very low, love. <laughs> but seriously, I really enjoy how it turned out. I feel like it's a great everyday look, but it's slightly more elevated and a little more glam due to the little bit of glitter on the eyes and the lashes and the wing kind of really elevate it for me. So it doesn't feel overdone, but it feels like a much more glam version than my more natural self, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, huge thanks to Supergoop for sponsoring today's video. It's a dream come true to work with them again. I absolutely love them, and you guys know how much I love their products. So if you guys wanna check out the new Mineral Sheer Screen Sunscreen, again, I will have it linked down below. It's their most sheer mineral sunscreen yet, which is really exciting because that's hard to do with a mineral sunscreen without compromising the SPF, and they were able to create something really wonderful. So yeah, if you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I would love to know in the comments what products you guys are using that are just too good to put away. Like what do you keep using and reaching for? I would love to know in the comments. That's what these products were for me. So please share what you're loving with me. I always love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.